Hello everyone, it's Emil at the Alanik Lab again. Uh, today I'm going to go over going through uh, band structure calculations. Let's navigate over to, was it, demo, wherever. So in the last video I went over the CoHP. Now, I haven't done band structure calculations in quite a while. Um, sort of forgot how they are supposed to be set up. In the meantime, let's comment everything out uh, that we don't need. This is the cope analysis. Uh, top is always going to be the same. I want to think that's correct, actually. It's nothing not Cape Path, right? Have to be bulk structure. Okay. Yeah. This is what I want. Okay. So, this is the K path, this is the line mode. So, this is the bulk. Right. Good. Okay. So, it seems that we have to copy Prim Cell Vast to Oscar and K path in will also be our new K points file. So let's copy, well actually let's move K points, K points, old. Let's move POSCAR, POSCAR old. Just to keep them, you know, if we need them later on. So now, uh, let's copy k-path in to k-points, and copy primcell.vast to poscar. So let's k-points, good, and poscar, okay. So let's see, let's go back, we will do band structure 21, band structure, okay, so we have all of that in, but it doesn't change the input, okay, okay, I think that's it. I think we have to go here. Um, let me double check one of my previous files to see <coughs> how I set up the band structure for that. Not sure I have any. Bound to have at least one. Maybe not. Alright. Fine. I'm just gonna comment this out. And I guess we'll just see what happens. Um, worst comes to worst. We will... We'll figure it out. So... In car setup, K point, boss car, hot car is untouched, obviously. Uh, let's look at my job file. I'll do band structure 32 cores, 24 hours. Uh, it should be alright. Now, S batch job, tail F out. Any problems that come up, we will see here. Number of bands has changed. Might fail. K points has changed. Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> it might fail. Alright, fine. I guess we'll figure it out.
charge density is uh, we're not really missing out much on that. So um, I ran this calculation yesterday and I'm looking at today a couple of problems too in particular. Uh, the N bands which we've seen uh, pretty frequently in these last couple of calculations but for demo purposes like I said we are ignoring it and uh, this one in particular the didn't wasn't achieved uh, electronic self consistency but you can see that it was pretty much going there um, minus 07 minus 06 05 um, so I think it was set to 250 I guess so let's go over to the in car right let's uh, up this to maybe uh, 400 And we will run through it again. Actually, I wasn't sure. Yeah. So run S batch job again. Hopefully, it'll converge uh, by that point, and then we'll take a look at it. But it was it was pretty close. One and go. Uh, so it's converged. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so our calculation has converged much sooner than uh, it went le yesterday night. And I think for this case, you will need the, what do you need? You'll need the pro car. So <clears throat> you'll see here, it'll say uh, band number one, we'll have the energy, the occupancy. Each K point, each band will be displayed. It's a pretty long uh, file, but to my knowledge, that's the only thing that you would need. Um, yeah. So you can see that it has the S, P, D, and F contributions uh, of each atom. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll parse through that, and uh, I'll get a plotting function up so we get the contributions of each, and we'll go from there. So, if you remember, we will have to export this. Uh, <coughs> and where is my code for that? Let me just double check that that's the only thing we need. Okay, so this doesn't take into account which atoms we have. Um, so I think the next thing we'll need to do is include that we need the POS file. So that's our ProCar file. Uh, not, not too extensive, and we will put that right here. All right, and in the next video, we'll go over how to plot it. Uh, hey guys, it's Emil again. Today we're going to go over um, plotting the band structure. So, it took me a couple of days to really try to figure this out. Um, as you can see, this is this is wrong. Anywho. Took a couple of days uh, to get this. Oh, it's not even the right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the right link here. Um, it took a couple of days to really try to figure this out. Um, so we had started up the band structure with, or I should say we, sh we had run the calculation with the help of VASP kit. Um, and now, I figured the best way to do this is just to use uh, Pi Procore, and this is another um, software package uh, made by the Romero Group. Uh, it's a fantastic package. I've used it for quite a while now, and it's very heavily maintained, uh, especially on GitHub. Um, yeah. 
very well documented, very well maintained, um, very good for various uses. Um, but still, we figured, okay, let's make it even simpler. Um, avoid coding using a terminal completely. So what do we do? Well, you upload the zip file that has your K points, your out car, your pro car. Um, something's not working here. Anywho, okay, I guess this worked. Um, yeah, so it looks just like this. I know we were supposed to use our demo file. Uh, to be honest, not sure why the demo file isn't working here. Anyways, it's loaded up regardless. Um, so that's how that looks like. Um, the Fermi Energy is automatically filtered. Uh, through the DOS car if you have it, otherwise you'll have to manually adjust it. Like so. Um, proof of concept. You could use another file and it'll also work. Uh, but granted, the K-Points uh, file has to be uh, the adjusted one. So it can't just be a regular K points file. It has to be the one specifically that you made or that VASP kit made uh, for um, the band structure calculation. So this is um, pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching. I'll link everything that you need to access this. Um, shortly, any issues, always feel free to reach out to me the comment section as well as my github page and granted this will have to be a little a little adjusted i mean you can also access this locally with with everything else which is nice uh, in case you don't have wi-fi whatever um and my end goal here is to make like one unified website uh, for the band structure uh cohp density of states, etc. But that has been quite a challenge, especially for someone who not only doesn't really know how to um, set up apps, to be honest, uh, but also someone that doesn't really know how to code. Well, you know, it's a learning process. So again, thank you for watching.